I'm gonna go look around this morning, just to get my kid out of the house and see what happens. I'm not expecting anything. I never do. Um, okay, so let me, let me this is uh, my first stop of Goodwill. Okay, just real quick. Wasn't expecting anything. Here's what I found. All right. GameCube Star Wars Lego for $2.99. GameCube Clone Wars is inside. That's okay too. Okay, I'm fine with that. $2.99, I got that game and I got, and I also have a brand new nice case, which I'm gonna trade out for my Godzilla game, which I may or may not ever sell on GameCube. This is pretty cool. Halo 3, $2.99, complete. Weren't expecting that. That might be a keeper. I'm not sure how much it's worth. Is it, is it a five or six dollar game? Maybe we'll find out. If it is, I'll flip it. Look, Spider-Man skin for a Switch Lite. That was $1.99, unopened, super neat. Sealed VHS Sleeping Beauty for $1.99. There's chips. It's, there's some chips in the case. That's a nice seal. I mean, shoot, $1.99, I could sell that for five bucks. I'd be fine with it. Uh, Led Zeppelin, two disc DVD, $1.99. Discs are mint, it's got the inserts. Um, this was in the Blu-rays, Spider-Man, PS4 for $4.99. I know I can $10 and $15 that in two seconds, no question. I found this, Underworld, $1.99. That's, to that's super blockbuster -y right there. Stickers front, back, writing on the inside, in the blockbuster case. Perfect, doesn't get much better than that. $1.99, done. And my son was like, Dad, look, Sandlot. I was like, that's cool, we don't have that on VHS. We've been talking about that a lot lately. We know that's one of our favorite movies. Why don't we have it? Maybe we, maybe we don't see it. I was like, oh, okay, cool, I'll pick it up. Man, that's a sharp copy. 99 cents. It's a nice clamshell. Then I was like, a hole in the UPC. I was like, what? What does that mean? Ooh, you know what that means sometimes. Check this out. I think it's a freaking screener. It says preview video cassette right there in the front. The Sandlot. Full length feature film in parentheses. That's odd. And I know I've seen some of the stuff like this because I used to work at Blockbuster. But like down at the bottom, it says this video cassette and its contents are for sales aid use only and absolutely not for sale or public demonstrations, 1993, 20th Century Fox with the Fox video logo on it. Folks, folks, exactly. That's all I got to say. Not for resale, baby. That's a, that's a bad mamma jamma. That's a bad mamma jamma. So happy. Good looking out. Nash found this and I was like, no way. This is the coolest thing. Trip two, we went to another thrift store in the area and I just picked up some random stuff. I was like, this, this is good stuff. This is cheap stuff. I mean, look, my man Corey just found a, a sealed Christmas vacation on VHS. So did I today. His is better. Look, it's missing a piece of the seal. Not bad though. 50 cents. Clean. Take that all day. Corey Smith one might appreciate this. Baseball is funny as bloopers. One of those old school, uh, yeah, I mean, shh, who made these? This is like a mail order or something. I don't know if these were in, yeah, and it has a UPC, we'll see. That's really cool. That's odd. Corey, what do you, all right. You know that's cool. Uh, better than your average VHS, uh, Dr. Seuss. Uh, 50 cents, uh, that's five to nine dollars all day. No question. Guy comes out when I'm looking at VHS. Got my son Nash with me. Dude's like, hey, is this your son? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm thinking like, what'd he do? But dude has a stack of baseball stickers and a 2021 clearly authentic Topps autograph card in his hand. And he's like, hey, I just wanna let you know, I just picked these up at the card store. I already got what I wanted out of here. Here, enjoy. And I'm like, can this day get any groovier? That was so kind. And it's a very sad story we heard from, a little bit from him and the store manager of, of why he's like that, which I won't go into. But uh, steered straight through Storm, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Y'all need to go there. They always have something cool. That's where I found these VHS. That's where the gentleman was so nice enough to give these to my son. and. And the wild thing is, is we have this sticker book and we never bought a lot of these stickers for it at all. It's like almost bare. So like here's 80 stickers that we could, we could fill that book with. 
But it's like, he just gave this to us. Unbelievable, people. Thank you. Thank you. This store. Amazing. And we, we've been going in there in and out for a year. Uh, that's going to make me go in and out every single week. No question. Amazon Fire Stick. You know, that's an open box. It's got everything in it. It looks perfect. $8. Ridiculous. Yes, please. H. Uh, Fire. Fire HD8. Hard case. With kickstand. It's camouflage. $1. It's brand new. Open box. Check this out. Leader class movie brawl. Transformers brawl. I don't know. This is... This is so complicated, that is why it was a dollar. We'll, we'll figure it out. Doesn't look like anything is missing. Obviously no accessories. One dollar. This was $30, $40 retail. Uh, look at this, 1995 Marvel Toy Biz, 12 inch, Ben Riley. That's right, baby. That's gotta be worth something. I didn't even look it up, cause you know that's worth something, $2. I'll take that all day, 1995. That's an old school toy biz. Super cool stuff. Another box of those MLB stickers. Unbelievable. I think these are 20 retail. And he basically gave us three. And, and the clearly authentic card is uh, 40 retail, I think. What an interesting day. Was not expecting anything. But I'm, I'm glad I got all that cool stuff. It's really going to um, spice up this all the lesser expensive stuff I was going to mess with. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about adding some of these new things. A couple of these I'm not going to get rid of. You know, there's no way that... There's no way. To say a lot, no way. And, okay, last but not least, I, a random poster at Goodwill. No price. But y'all know I had to pick this up. Y'all know I had to pick that up. Check that out. Mafia 3 promo poster. It's not ripped. There's creases. I was like, hey, there's no price. How about 49 cents? You're just like, how about 49 cents? All right, the end. I can stop there. Right? Not bad, right? Not bad. Okay. Uh, thanks, y'all. Thank you for watching. Uh, Corey Retro 77 and I, NES Mafia Jim, and as usual, NES Mafia 1985.